So we're talking about the Urban Disguise Classic. Now this is the Urban Disguise 50 and this is the Urban Disguise 60. So these are our largest in the series. Um, and this is, re it's really a professional bag. Um, the ballistics, the combination of the leather, the metal logo, really has that professional feel, but it also acts as travel luggage as well. So you can use it to, to work out of and to shoot out of, and you can use it to travel. Right, we call it Urban Disguise because the way we designed it, it looks more like traditional luggage as opposed to camera bags. So that's all about you know traveling as a photographer and not wanting to be recognized as a photographer or letting people know that you've got you know thousands of dollars of equipment in your bag. So as we open it up, we've designed this wide mouth opening and it has this stretchable fabric here so you really get the maximum amount of opening as well. So in here I have a standard size body, it's just a, a you know a D810 uh, with a 24 to 70 attached. It can also fit a 70 to 200 2.8 and then the side, I have a Y. This is the, the 14 to 24 to 8. Um, so as you can see, there's you just get a ton of room in there. Um, as well, it does have an expansion zipper, and I'll let Doug talk a little bit more mm -hmm. about that. In either one of these, you can fit a gripped body or a pro-size body in here. Right. So does this one hold a laptop as well? It does. It fits a laptop in the back. Okay. And, uh, and a full-size tablet. So this is a 15-inch and also has uh, a separate pocket for a, a full-size tablet, so you can see two different compartments in there. Okay, so this size is taller, as you can see, and the key difference is, is that this one, with the expansion on the front, will hold a full-size body with a 70 to 200 attached. And the expansion zipper is indicated by this blue thread on the side here. It's a, it's a zipper that kind of gets a little hidden on the bag, and this zips all the way underneath and really expands the capacity of the upper part of the bag. That allows you to fit that pro-size or gripped body. Right. So in here I have that combination and this bag will hold just a ton of stuff. I've got, got you your know, 2470, shoot. I have um, this is a prime lens, I've got my wide with a hood. So this can easily hold actually two pro bodies with lenses attached side by side. and other gear. Mm -hmm. yes. So it holds a tremendous amount. The front pocket, also is designed so if you want to, you can put two pro bodies on either side. I've just thrown a uh, strobe in there. But you can put your bodies in here and then just put the lenses on the inside if mm -hmm. you want. Yeah, because you had five total lenses packed right. just in that center compartment. Mm -hmm. And then you can put your bodies up front here. Um, it does come with a, a, just a bunch of extra dividers. So this helps you stack lenses, um, you know, make separate, separate compartments. Also a seam sealed rain cover. In case you are caught in a downpour, it's always good to cover all the zippered um, compartments. Now, our fabrics are treated with a water-resistant coating, so that water will just bead right off. It also has a PU undercoating, so the water won't seep to the inside of the bag, but just, if you are caught in a downpour, I always want to put on that mm -hmm. rain cover. Now, this size will also hold a, I have a 15-inch laptop here, but I believe it also holds a 17. 17-inch on the 60. So if you still have a 17-inch laptop. <laughs> They are also a full-size tablet. Okay. Now, if we keep going over the features of the bag, it does have a front zippered pocket, and there is an organizer on the inside. A security zippered pocket as well. It's great for money, passport. If you are traveling, just that uh, that security pocket is is nice for those. Right. You can see it has this little blue tag that indicates the security pocket on the inside. So that's a really nice feature. We already showed you the front pocket. But underneath the flap, it, it, it does have this buckle, this, this closure buckle. It, you press on the top to release it. Um, and we also have some uh, hook loop or uh, sound silencers, right? So mine are turned off, right? It's sound silent, so you don't get any of that, of that closure or that Velcro sound. Now you can turn these completely on. And we have these tabs to, to have the hook loop completely engaged, or you can just go halfway and so then it just gives you just a little mm -hmm. bit of security. Right so generally when you're actually shooting you normally don't have them engaged because you want to get in and out of your bag really quickly but then when you're traveling you make sure that they're they're on so to speak so that it really closes the front of the bag. Yeah and this front compartment you can see we do have this divider to fit that those two pro size bodies side by side. You can also undo this divider to fit documents, papers. Um, it's nice when you're traveling for, for, um, for magazines as well. Now both bags have stretchable side pockets 
Mm -hmm. can put all sorts of things into. Great for a flash or a water bottle, mm -hmm. depending on if you're shooting or traveling. Now they both have a pass-through in the back for your rolling luggage, mm -hmm. as well as a zippered pocket in the back, which again is great for those things that your notepad, your, uh, you know, travel itinerary, yeah, things I like that that I you don't really need to get to instantly, yeah. but you want it secured. Yeah, I, I put my itinerary in here, just that's the only thing in the pocket, so I know that that's, that's where the goods are. Now the shoulder strap is pretty cool. There's two things about this shoulder strap. First, we added these D-rings to the back of the bag, and the purpose of that is that when you're actively shooting, what you can do is you can put it on so that the bag is hanging by the back, and so what this does is that when you oh. open it up, the bag will fall forward and you can get unencumbered access to all your lenses and your gear. If you attach it to the side, that works as well, but it does press in on the side. So we added these uh, D-rings on the back for more of an active shooting solution. So the other feature on this shoulder strap is this pass-through. So you can see we have a pass-through on the back of the bag, we have a pass-through on the shoulder strap. Now what this is designed to do is really um, attached to the to one of our roller bags so the retractable handle goes up through the pass through and then the bag is counterbalanced on the roller taking all the weight on the wheels instead of on the handle so mm -hmm. it's really um, reduces strain on your your shoulder your arm your wrist as you're lugging this bag you know through various airports while mm -hmm. you're traveling and the shoulder strap is adjustable on both sides right here and the purpose of that is if you have different uh, sizes of luggage. You can just adjust it to make sure that your briefcase is all the way on the ground and in front of the roller. Right. And so I'm, when you stop, it's just level on the ground. Right. And as you can see, it quickly adjusts for the for the roller and then also to work as a shooting solution. Mm -hmm. So that is the Urban Disguise Classic. This is the 50 and this is the 60 from Think Tank Photo. Thanks for watching.